Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today's video we're gonna wire a industrial contactor and I will show you how we wire an industrial contactor in a real industrial environment and for this video purpose we're using a ABB contactor and I have made another two video detailed video about the contactor about its function how overload works you can check it out and I will put their link in the description so those two videos will show you exactly how the contactor function and about this working principle so let's start wiring our contactor but before we start wiring our contactor i have made the drawing for you guys so you guys can have a better understanding how we can wire it up so let me show you the drawing on the screen now as you can see on the screen i have the drawing here and uh, it have a two leg one leg has a 110 ac coming in it and the other leg has a neutral line in it so this 110 will pass through the overload contact over here so this overload contact is this one on the overload and after passing through the overload it goes to a normally closed contact so this normally closed contact is represented by this red switch and after passing through the normally closed contact it passed through the normally open switch so this normally open switch is this green switch we have here and after that the wire will go to the coil so this terminal all the way back this one represent the our coil these two terminals one and two so and we have an auxiliary contact m1 so this contact number 13 and 14 is our auxiliary contact. We will use the auxiliary contact for latching our circuit. Let's start wiring our contactor and we will follow this drawing exactly step by step so we can complete our circuit. Now initially we are going to eliminate this M1 contact, this auxiliary contact. I will explain this part later in this video so you guys can understand what a latching circuit is and how it works so for now i'm gonna hide it just hide it like this all right so we're gonna just complete this run completely over here now this terminals on this side have a 110 ac coming in it and these terminals on this side is a neutral so let's start wiring it up so we have a 110 coming here going through the overload contact so this is our overload here this one so let's put it in Now, after passing through this overload contact, it passed through the normally closed switch. So this wire coming through the normally closed contact on the overload passed through this normally closed switch. And after this, the wire goes to this point on the normally open switch. So after, after pass, uh, passing through the normally closed switch, it goes to the normally open switch, this green one over here. And after that, it goes to the coil on the coil side of the contactor. So let's put this wire on the coil. Now you can see the other side of the coil is tied to the neutral leg. So I'm going to use a white wire white wire generally represent a neutral line and I will take this white wire put it on the other terminal on the coil and 
all right so this completes our first rung all the way till this point so let's power our contactor if i press this normally open switch the contactor's main contact should go in and our coil will get energized so let's see it does you can see the contacts pulling in and you can hear the click click noise now here is a problem the contacts will only stay in as long as i hold this green switch as soon as i, as I release it the contacts will pull back to its normal uh, normal state so in order to overcome this situation we use a latching circuit so latching circuit for that purpose we have to use this m1 auxiliary contact on the contactor latching mean holding circuit so by holding i mean if i press this green switch over here i want this contact to stay in all the time even if i release this normally open switch but it's not doing so because we haven't engaged our uh, contactor auxiliary contacts so let's wire up this contactor auxiliary contact for our latching circuit so i will take a wire from this point this junction over here so that is this point over here and it will go to the one terminal of the auxiliary contact that will be our number 13 terminals on this con on this contactor so i will take this wire it will go here and the next wire will come from the second terminals that will be number 14 on the contactor and it's going back to the coil of the contactor So this wire go back to the coil as you can see and this completes our latching circuit. Now if I press this green switch the contactors should stay in all the time and they will the main contacts will come back when I will press this red switch. So let's check it out. So the contacts they stay in even if I release this green switch. Now in order to bring back to its initial position I have to press this red switch and when I press this red switch it will break this 110 power supply from this point so basically this is our latching circuit latching means the contact should stay in even if i release this momentary switch after pressing it once so basically this is our wiring for a industrial contactor and i hope you guys like this video please subscribe my channel and I will keep on posting more real industrial application. Thanks for watching.